Uh, welcome, guys, to the StarCityGames.com $10,000 tournament here in St. Louis. Uh, I'm Ben Swartz, joined here by Cedric Phillips and Ray Punzelon, uh, and we're, we're watching uh, the semifinals between Sam Cotterella on the left-hand side of your screen and Pat McGregor on the right-hand side of your screen. Sam's playing a, a Merfolk deck, and uh, Pat's playing an Agrolome deck, and they are off to the races. Ced, why don't you tell them a little bit about these matchups? Um, Merfolk is uh, going to want to be the aggressor in this matchup. Doesn't want to wait around too long to get let Agrolome get set up with seismic assaults and loams and get all of his guys killed by the shocks. So um, both these guys are experienced in playing their decks, so it should be a pretty good matchup. Uh, we have I have uh, Agrolome is actually going to win this one, but it, it can really easily go both ways. Just you know, timely counter spells here, timely counter spells there can really change things. So. So uh, let's take a look yep. at these guys' hands. Sam uh, just drew the Aether Rile. Aether Rile, he's also got uh, a really standstill. To the um, can't quite see what's in his hand. The Agrolone player, Pat's got a couple lands. Uh, two Countryside Crushers, Engineer Explosive, Seismic Assault, Wasteland, and... So he's, got he's got Chalice in his hand. Which uh, isn't good here. Yeah, so I'll play the Wasteland, probably, maybe. Yeah, Wasteland will uh, come down. I think he gets the Meter Vault off the bat? Yeah, I really don't think so. I think he wants to keep his mana around to get himself further set up because he's the control deck. No reason to try to screw him. Yeah, he, he actually has Bob in his hands. So I, uh, really, I would, would play Bob there. I think, no, he's going to want to... Well, yeah, he's on one of these. Yeah, the reason, yeah, the reason he's playing... The reason he's wastelanding now is because he doesn't want to get stifled. And the reason he didn't play Bob is because he doesn't want to get Dillister Spell Snare. Fair enough. That's also the reason he hasn't cracked his land yet. Uh, at some juncture, he's gonna, you know, have to make a decision on if, he, if he's okay with letting this thing get stifled or not. So, well, uh, Sam goes ahead and plays another island. He does have standstill on his end, and he does have the stifle. He has a stifle. Pretty effectively from <coughs> standstill, stifle, redream. Hmm. At this point, it was really safe for him to play a standstill. I'm not sure why he didn't. Agreed. No Especially real, with the ether violent play, you can yeah, no continue to get, get cards. Stifle. He does, he does have the stifle. He does have the stifle, but there's no real reason here, you know. He can't sit in this matter. Stifle is pretty much the same as Stainstill, except Stainstill draws you three cards. That's correct. Uh, you've got the law. You've got the. You've got what you did want. Did Patches put the Max Diamond without landing? No, no, he has to see if he's looking to see if the Diamond resolves first. So if you counter it, there's no way it gets countered here, right? I can imagine it getting. Oh, well, never mind. Can't stop that. That's just dumb. I'm stupid. <laughs> Interesting. This can't really be good. Yeah, there's no reason. One at a time. Yeah. This was one fish first. Yep. Just gonna stifle this one. Is it both stifle? Oh, what I was gonna say. Okay. That would have been nice. <laughs> you know, I guess, you know, he can just set it up, but I, mean, I, th I understand what Sam's doing, but at that point, I think he really just wants to... Surprise he goes with the duel here. Yeah. Uh, the other semis is still uh, waiting to be set because Owen Turtwald is still battling against Chris Anderson for these, their spot in the semifinals. With double play line. Uh, yeah, with double Leyland really? Floyd on um, both of their sides of the table. The, the winner of that match is going to play against Mark Larson, who's playing a, a zoo deck. Got confidants here. And now that standstill looks a little worse if this results. That's the thing. Not not much worse, but a little worse. Yeah. So we're going up to two. Using the reminder, reminder die. Yeah, patented Bill Stark reminder die. What do you feel about that? I, I can't, not, not fit for print. Can't, <laughs> can't say it live. <laughs> excuse, excuse me? <laughs> yep. Mute all comes down, play a standstill on Sam's side. And passes the turn back. Oh, Sam set up pretty nicely here. Reveal Crusher, take three. So now he's going to have, he, he is forced to play a spell now. Which we'll get three cards, and you know, ideally he's going to violin some sort of lord or silver go silver go adept here. Mm -hmm. 
I, I can't hear what Rashad's saying. Maybe you can come here and say it on the mic. Maybe Do you want to sit right here? You got no, that? I'm okay. Uh, in, the, uh, in the 43 land mirror match, uh, that started off with ley lines on both sides. Well, Owen has managed to get rid of Chris's ley line and now has a board position of mana bond to explorations and his own ley line with loam and waistline and ports and play. And Chris Anderson has land and no hand. No, so Owen looks look like all's going. Pretty sure. Okay. Well, back at this game, it looks like uh, Pat tries to break the standstill with uh, Charles Lavoie for one. So Sam's gonna look at his three cards. Yeah, he's three drawing. deeper here. Now if you look at uh, you look at Sam's deck list here. For one, he can get a curse catcher. He can get a ether vial. And he can get stifle. Stifle one of which has already been burned. So you know, challenge for one, not really too imposing. Yeah. Not really a spell you need to counter at this jump. Uh, <laughs> I almost said <laughs> juncture <laughs> there. <laughs> you know, you get like three points every time. Three, three Star City Games Invitational points every time. You That's, good. <laughs> right. That's good. I feel like almost qualified now. I think you're player of the year soon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, uh, no real reason for him to count on that. So Silver Gill Adept gets in for three. Draws, uh, draws Sam a card. Draws him a Wasteland. <laughs> and in uh, Pat's hand, he's got a uh, double crusher, a triple Pat's crusher. Got, yeah, triple crusher and assault. seismic assault. Can't quite cast that assault yet. Yeah. You're going to want to keep, you know, with the wasteland, she's going to want to keep him off red mana anyway. He's, yeah. he's already got the diamond up, triple red. He's the only thing of relevance here. You can't keep him off of the one sure. right now. So. Ether file goes to three. And it looks like Chris Ketcher was drawn. I'm not really sure why, uh, why Chalice was played last turn. Oh. Instead of Over one of the yeah, instead of one of the crushers, I'm not yeah. really sure what he was trying to accomplish. I mean, maybe he's afraid of something for one, but I can't imagine like saying that it's that good for one. I mean, like, what cards for the Iron Realm are really afraid of against the Fork deck? It's really just the Lords and like a random. He's got a really I mean, right guys. now. Right now, you know, um, he needs to get blockers on the table and stymie the offense because. Um, Sam has everything going that he wants. You know, he's got a wasteland, he's got a meter vault. He does have a daze in the grip. I can't really see too much, but too much else. But just played a lord too. Yeah. <laughs> There's a regery out here. You can really start doing some broken things with regery and merfolk effects, taps on taps, free, freebies like that. So, so I'm gonna play out, play Lord of yep. this here. Makes yeah. this guy's all bigger, allows him to tap or untap dark. Untap vial? Yeah. Yeah. Because he has a sovereign in his hand. I mean, that can just end them. I mean, the game might just be over right now, so. Yeah, with sovereign being able to tap down the bob, how much damage is that? With the mutant vault? Yeah. Uh, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So it's got a blow. Puts him at 1. Source. Yeah, blow up the red source, yeah. keep him off of salt. Get some damage in here. Uh, Owen, Owen won his match, so he'll be playing semifinals versus Mark Larson. Congratulations to Owen and Mark, and maybe we'll be able to cover the last game of that match. So it's a, it gets a free sovereign. <laughs> One of each lord in play. Yeah. One of each lord. No maelstrom pulses here, yeah. folks. <laughs> and, um. Crush. Wow, crash them four or five. Tom with the falls to the top with Bob. Puts half down to eight. I don't know the exact wording on Regery, but I think he may have missed a uh, untap there. I think I think what he he should have done was uh, yeah. put put Pat exactly at one and then wait for his Bob to kill him because he had he had enough to put him one by yeah. activating the move vault. And yeah. Unta- and tapping his Bob. Doesn't matter because right. Sam takes the first game here. They're gonna be moving again. It uh, made sure 